to get resources without risking your life in a um, cat cave. You just want something quick that'll get you where you need to go, right? <clears throat> so let's see here. Now, because you can, you can do this anywhere, you can do this right outside your door if you wanted to, but because I care how things look around here, because this is going to be my base, and I want it to look nice, I'm a little bit picky about where I start my strip mine. <clears throat> um, I think I'm going to dig in over here. Now, when you want diamonds, diamonds are on spawn at certain levels. Below level 16, I believe, is where they start to spawn. Um, this looks like a little fairly secluded spot, so I'm going to start digging in here. Now we're going to want to dig down. Um, iron spawns, I don't have a shovel. I need a shovel. Okay, so I slept and I made it day, and I'm back over at our spot where we were going to start strip mining. Now you might be asking why I'm, I'm using um, iron picks when I have a diamond pick. Well, because one thing strip mining does do is it's hard on your, your tools. And because I don't have a lot of diamonds yet, and I only have the one diamond pick, I like to save it and not use it up too much. So basically I'm trying to preserve my diamond pick for things like when I need to get obsidian and things like that because, well, it's an efficiency 3, it would dig pretty fast. And without unbreaking on it, it's also going to die pretty fast. So, I'm just... Alright, I was going to go down, wasn't I? Why am I digging a tunnel? Okay. So, I'm going to start digging down. And you just want to dig down like a stairwell. Like this. And if you want to check what level you're on, we're going to look at a three, and that brings up our extra information here. And if you look over on the left-hand side, there's like one paragraph of information and a second paragraph, right? So at the top of the, that second paragraph there, where it says X, Y, Z, it says negative seven slash 74 slash 146. Okay, so what we're interested in is the middle one, which is the Y coordinate it's at 74 right now so that means that we're on level 74 we need to go down until that says at least 16 if we're going to look for diamonds the um conventional well if you look on the wiki and things like that the statistically speaking diamonds spawn most regularly or most what's the word um, frequently on level 12. Some, which means most people go down to level 12 and start mining for diamonds. Start their strip mine on level 12. Me, I'm not so worried about that. I usually go down to like level 6, 7, 9, 10, somewhere in there. Um, anything at under 16, really, you're going to find diamonds at some point. Um, I usually go down to like level 10 and then do like a three high mine or something like that so that I'm getting level 12 at the same time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. We, I believe, yep, okay. We just found a um, silverfish block right there. You're going, wow, can you tell? Well, notice how long it takes me to mine that. Not very long. Now I go on this one, and it's suddenly a lot slower. But if I switch to like my sword and bang on it, it's pretty quick. That tells me, or even if I went to like my bare hands, let's use a bare hand here, and hit it, it's breaking really fast compared to that. That is a silver flesh block. So when I hit this, 
When I break this block, a little silverfish is going to pop out. This only happens in the Extreme Hills biome. I still have F3 up. So you can see there that where it says biome, it says Extreme Hills. Um, and in Ender Portals. So let's break this. And there's a little silverfish. Now I hit him in, and he died in one hit. If you don't kill him in one hit, he's going to call other silverfish. There might not be any around. Let's see. Oh, that one's a silverfish block too. Whoa, there we go. Hey, little guy. And did I not hit him? Huh. Okay, so let's give you a way up here and see if you'll come up. Yep. Oh, you're so cute. Bye-bye. Not that cute. Okay, so let's see. Is that one a silverfish block? No. Yes. Okay. Let's give you a way up here. Whoa. Okay. Any others? I think that one is. No? Nope. Yes. Sometimes they will just go back into the block, into the stone, which is what happened there. I did that one, he just hopped up into this stone. So, silverfish have the ability to enter stone. Um, and sometimes they just do that. Okay, so I have found some coal. I'm going to use my fortune one pick to try and get a little bit more than, um, wow, that one was three. See, that's nice. So sometimes you get more than with the fortune pick. Fortune picks are your friend. Anything that, um, I think I've said this before, anything that doesn't give you an ore, so anything that gives you an actual drop, like coal, redstone, lapis, diamonds, um, a fortune pick gives you a chance of getting more than one per block. Okay, so we're going to keep going down here. Here we go. Here we go. What level are we at? Oh, I hear a zombie. We are at level 56. So we got a, quite a ways to go. Whoop. Did not mean to do that. You also want to make sure that you light it up behind you so that you are not um, having creepers and zombies and skeletons. Yeah, I hear a zombie, which tells me there's probably a... Ooh, more cool. It's probably a cave nearby. I hear a lot of zombies. So there might be a cave nearby. It could also be a spawner. I'm just gonna mine this out. loudest over here. Oops. Do we want to find the zombies is the next question. I think we do. Okay. Aha. It's a cave. Hmm. Oh my. 
big dark cave. There's two creepers, two zombies, at least. Hmm. Now, oh my goodness, look at all those zombies. Wow, okay, let's get rid of those creepers. How many? I have 28 arrows, okay. I should be able to get rid of the creepers with this. so many? Is it just a load? Just a... Often what happens when you go, um, at least to me, <laughs> when you go strip mining, you will run into caves, and you will run into monsters and zombies, and that's kind of part of the fun. But if you're not wanting to run into monsters, then when you come across caves, or if you hear lots of zombies. Where's my other way back? There it is. Okay. Here's my tunnel. Um, see, I diverted, diverted from my tunnel there. I could just do this and ignore it and keep on going downstairs. And keep on keeping on and not worrying about it. Which is what I'm going to do because this, this... <laughs> This episode is supposed to be about finding, um, how to strip mine, basically. It's not supposed to be about finding zombies. So what I like to do is I like to fill up the areas that I've mined, just so that, eh, I know something was there and it's not there. Just a little neater, a little straighter. Um, now, I did leave that open up there. Which is probably not the smartest thing in the world. Because it means things can come at night. Things can wander down here. Um, so, I'm not too worried. I'm going to keep my ear open. But if you're you know, if you're not prepared to have um, things wandering in behind you, then you might want to put a door on it. Um, oh, and see, here we're now. We found that cave again from a different angle. So I'm just going to keep building my stairwell down here. And see, I've been partway this way. And I'm just going to do a quick lighting up around here a little bit. Oh, we did end this way, so it's all good. And I'll go light this up a little bit. Just so that we don't get things spawning right here. And I'm going to grab this iron because it's right here. And it's quick and easy to get. And this one over here. Let's 
I still think there's a spawner around here somewhere. And then what I will do is I will build this up so that we don't get any visitors in our tunnel. There we go. And we are at Y36. So we still have a ways to go. Ooh, redstone, which means we must be at level 10. Alright, well. So we're at le we're at diamond level. Redstone and diamond um spawn at the same level. So I've got the redstone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to clear out a little space here. And this will be like our little mini base in the basement. Okay. Now I didn't, I brought this. Okay, so I usually put a crafting bench down, and a smelter, and we can do that, and I also usually do a double chest, and then plop that on top like that, and then I can just throw things that I don't really need. And here I have a few extra supplies. Okay. And now starts the actual branch mining. Okay, technically, strip mining is stripping away each layer, so you clear out the whole space. Branch mining is you dig a tunnel. I'm gonna dig, let me see, maybe a two wide tunnel. We dig a little tunnel and then we start branch mining off of the tunnel. <gasps> Look at what we found! We have found diamonds! This is gonna drive me crazy, so I'm just gonna do this. And then... Alright. Diamonds! Yay! Okay. Ooh, it looks like a nice big. Two, three, at least four diamonds. Yep, and let's check. No lava underneath them. Nope. Alright, so I'm going to use my fortune pick. And we'll see. Maybe we'll get more than one diamond. So far, only one diamond. One. <gasps> That's two! We got five diamonds out of that. Alright. That wasn't even what we were really looking for. So, alright, so now that we have a little bit of a tunnel going here, what we do is we start branch mining. So what you want to do when you're branch mining is the most efficient ways you want to expose a, as much rock in as little digging as possible. So if you start a branch every second, one, two, branch, one, two, branch, two branch one two branch okay so what this does is if you dig this tunnel you're exposing this block and this block so any ores within this three by three area is going to be exposed so that that's why you leave two in between here because this is now exposing this area and this one exposes this area and in that way by the time I get to the end of the tunnel all the all this area has been exposed so we've checked all the rock for ores now you can just keep going as long as you want in your own world i mean if you're playing on a multiplayer sometimes you have to be considered about how far you go but i once in a single player world i did like a thousand block long tunnel because i just got in the groove and i was going and yeah I actually really like strip mining. Some people find it really boring, but you get a good pick and you can just go. And you have to remember to light your way or you will have things spawning behind you. But yeah, 
And so basically this is strip mining. You just keep going until you find something. The only thing you do have to watch out for is lava when you're strip mining. Um, because lava and diamonds all spawn, lava lakes I should say, um, spawn more frequently at level 16 and below. So chances are really good that we're going to come across lava down here. Now, I don't think I have a water bucket on me. Um, water buckets are a good thing to have on you because water will turn the lava into obsidian and it will also stop you from burning basically but you can also use blocks so it's always a good idea to have blocks on your bar so that you can quickly um, stop any lava flows that happen or at least put something between you and the lava so that you don't catch on fire oh more diamond look at that and gold all right this is we're doing good. We found a good spot here. Ooh, two from that one, one from that one. Eh, not bad. Okay, so we're probably going to hit lava in a minute here. And let's see. <gasps> More diamonds! Okay, because I hear lava, I'm going to dig around the diamonds before I dig the diamonds up themselves. Because I want to make sure that there isn't lava un Ooh, that would have been bad underneath them. Okay, there isn't under this one. Okay, I think we're good to dig the diamonds. Now, I don't know what's underneath that one. No, still good. Okay. The lava could be underneath us too, but I really hear it now. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, there's lava. Okay. So I'm backing up, but I have stones on my bar so I can um, plunk them down. Now it looks like that's quite a lot of lava. Um, we could go around it. I'm just going to block that up so the lava should go away. Um, we could try and go up and around it. Um, which, if you wanted to do that, you would just back up a few and dig up. And then just build yourself a little stairwell. I think that should be high enough. Yeah, we're over it, but we're not. Yeah, so it's quite a big lava pool there. Welcome back, friends. Okay, so I've done, dug three tunnels here now. The first one that we did together, and then two others. And I have to say, honestly, we did not get that great of a haul in terms of uh, um, iron. I found like three more iron ore, but I did get, <clears throat> excuse me, I did get a whole bunch of redstone, some gold. We got the 19 di diamonds. Um, no more diamonds in the other two tunnel. Apparently they were all in this tunnel. Um, but I'm full up now and I can get rid of some of the cobble here like this. This is one thing about strip mining is you do end up with a lot of cobble, which is nice. If, especially if you want to build with like stone bricks or something. Um, now what you can do with all this redstone, because I got several stacks here. Um, I should have done the spread evenly thing, but we can turn it into blocks of, of redstone, which is um, for storage. So now all those um, are in one little place there. And we can do the same with the lapis. And eventually we can do the same with the gold too. Hello girls! Can you come say goodbye to our friends? Yeah, we went on a on a little bit of a mining adventure. I didn't bring back any fish, I'm sorry. No, just diamonds and, and lapis and redstone and coal. And a little bit of iron. Yeah, sorry. Nothing interesting for kitty cats. Do you want to say goodbye to the, our friends? Bye, 
Bye, friends. We'll see you next time.